Come on. This way. Looks like there's shelter up ahead. Looks clear. like we're in the clear. Yeah, I didn't see any of them following us. They might have found that barn on fire, but we are long gone. We're not out of the woods yet, though. Saw that castle further up our trail. I figure it's best we head that way. Staying here too long could get us spotted, and we'll need that Luis guy if, uh, if he has anything to help us with this infection. Can't say I trust the guy. He worked for Umbrella. Explains why he might be able to help, but what he'll want in return? Who knows? Gotta stay on our feet here. <sighs> Sorry. We should relax for a moment. Might be one of the few times we actually get a chance to. Got a bit scrapped up out there. Nothing bad from the looks of it, but you never want to leave a wound open. <laughs> We're surviving some seriously messed up villagers and monsters. Don't want you taken out by an infected wound. Here, I'll clean it up a bit. Thankfully, it's not a deep one, just gotta wipe it off. Uh, just get that here. Making sure that none of the blood will be in the way. And there we are. <clears throat> now let's uh let's apply these herbs. I've been finding these all over the village. They were pretty popular in Raccoon City as well. I think after the outbreak people just started using them more around the world. They're handy in a pinch. I don't know how exactly all the science works, but from what I understand, they apparently give the body a kickstart in the healing process. It really speeds things up. Green ones are fine by themselves, but you mix them with the red ones. <laughs> Even after the worst of things, this mix always makes me feel like I'm back in a shape like nothing happened. These yellow ones, though. Never actually seen these before. I've used them a few times, though. Each time I felt a little... stronger? I could, like, I, I could take a little bit more punishment than before. Just a bit, though. Keep an eye out for those ones, too. Uh, anyways, uh, here. I've got a red and green mix. Let's, uh, let's just rub this in. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a jump at first, you know. It's like your body was caught in a flash. Then it cools down. Your heartbeat really picks up the pace for a sec, and then it slows down, and then you'll relax a little bit. There you go. <laughs> See, it's already stopped hurting. Look at that. Not even a scar. This stuff acts pretty fast. Now let's, uh... Let's just sit down for a moment. We can be healed all we like, but... If we're totally exhausted, we're not going to be able to escape this place properly. Some... Shut-Eye will do as well. Don't worry. If anyone comes by, I'll be ready. Got my weapons holstered in reach. Speaking of which, I should probably count just how much ammo I have. Probably not a whole ton, but enough to keep us going. Half 
I've got three mags left on the pistol. That'll be enough to get us by. How about the sniper? Doing good on sniper ammo. Only about a mag and a half left, but it's got enough firepower to make those shots count. And now our shotgun. The usual go-to when things get hairy. More surrounded. But I've only got three shells. Yeesh. They'll help, but I gotta be careful about when I use them. I hate to waste them on some fodder, only to find out I need them later. Uh, but that's all the weaponry for now. I suppose all we have to do now is just get some decent sleep. And don't don't worry, the door is locked. And besides, something about these places. I don't know who that merchant guy is, but nobody seems to mess with him. So long as he's on our side, I'm certainly not complaining. Here, let me put some firewood inside of the fireplace here. Yeah. This should help us dry up. It's really pouring out there. Infected villager or not, I don't think anyone's going to want to search for us in that storm. And, uh, here. My jacket. I realize you're not exactly dressed for this weather. You have it. It's okay. Trust me, I have trained in much worse conditions than this. I'm alright with getting a little more wet than usual. But I don't want you getting sick. There you are. And... Hey. I can see that you're worried. And honestly, you have every right to be. Our chopper can't make it, comms seem to be cut off, and starting to feel like Spain's most wanted with all the attention we're getting. But I promise, I've trained for a long time. This isn't my first run-in with viruses like this. I'll do everything I can to make sure we both make it out. Yeah. You're stressed, scared. You were never meant to be in a position like this. If you stick with me for just a while longer, we will survive this. We'll get this virus out of us, and then when we get home... Well, I... What am I grabbing something to eat? <laughs> oh yeah, after this, some good food would be killer. I'm thinking... A big, fat, juicy steak. After everything I've seen, I'm still thinking of food? <laughs> Absolutely I am. Now we could even make a bit of a detour. Never had Spanish food from Spain itself. I mean, hey, if we're way out here, you might as well make the most of it, yeah? Not exactly a great vacation, but we're certainly getting a detailed tour of this village. Just gotta make the most of it. See? Exactly. There you go. Just think of all the fun stuff we can do once we're out of here. But first, we do have to make it out. Just know that we can. <laughs> Trust me. No matter how gross our enemies can mutate or how giant some may seem, they're all as vulnerable as anyone else. If you're not intimidated, and that's one less advantage they have. Mm-hmm. That's how I have the courage to go hand-to-hand -hand with those twisty, spaghetti-headed freaks. Once you know that they're just people, it's easier to move past the scary exterior. 
Hmm. Maybe once we have time, I could teach you some basic moves. No, oh, yeah, trust me, after all this is said and done, no one's going to be laying a finger on you. Not before you're suplexing them like it's nothing. You could totally do it. Kick them in the shin and then lift them up and over. Easier than it looks, just have to make sure they're disoriented enough. But... Yeah, I... I guess that is a lot. It took me a few years of training before I was actually ready for anything like this. I used to just be a cop. <laughs> yeah. My first day was actually during the Raccoon City incident. It was a hell of an initiation, I can tell you that much. <clears throat> it was... a lot. And a lot of good people were lost, and I was scared out of my mind. It was an entire adventure. I, I mean, it's part of the reason why I'm even prepared for this. I mean, there were zombies there. Creatures with these long, winding tongues trying to attack. And then this big guy that was just chasing me like a... I don't even know how to describe it. I would just hear his boots stomping all over the, the police department and then I just had to hide out a little bit. He was slow though. I could outrun him. Yeah. He did remind me a bit of the village chief. And he went down just as easy. Hell, maybe even easier. It took me a rocket launcher to kill the, the big guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just going down an elevator and then the big guy comes crashing down, all mutated and monstrous, and then suddenly I see a big old case sliding down the elevator shaft and it lands right on front of me. And then I open it up, rocket launcher inside, and I you know, I try not to question the odds, so I figure I pick it up and just use it. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't the only survivor, though. It was someone I met that night, and... A little girl that she helped. And after we all made it out, I was, um... Convinced to become an agent. Years of training, a few operations, and now I'm here. You know, despite the worst things coming for us, I'm... I am glad to be here. To be able to help. Oh, I'd rather something like this go as smooth as possible. Thanks. I know we both don't have much in the way of a choice, but... It helps that we get along. But, I've kept you awake for long enough. You need your sleep after everything we've been through. I'm a light sleeper, so if anything does somehow find us, I'll be up with my pistol aim before they can even say a hiestas. <laughs> but yeah. Rest easy, friend. If you need anything, just give me a nudge. Hey everyone, thank you for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this audio, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything helps. Again, thank you for listening, and I want to give a special thanks to the following patrons and YouTube memberships on the Captain and Higher tiers. Claire Belpagan, Aleswith, Christopher Stevens, Miss Effie, Helios Flame, Inspector Lemon, Safadil, Ravioli Senpai, Takashi Brightscales, Jenga Power, Min Jade, Zinc, Soup Turn, Kitty243, Sammy Samar, MG, Deborah Bossard, Sydney Scott, Jamie, Yads Jin, Celine Alvarez, Dapple Apple, Echo Capital, Halo Memzi, El Kane, Tanya Myrick, Death Girl Gotcha, Azu, Bridge Troll, Shumpy, and Crown Creature. 
Again, those are all of my patrons and YouTube members on the captain and higher tiers. And if you want to join them, link to the Patreon is in the description and you can join directly on YouTube memberships through this website, of course. But anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for listening and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.